Hi guys, let's take a look at how the different factors uh, making up our profit. So that's our variable cost, our fixed cost, our selling price per unit and our the number of units, how those factors affect our profit and our break-even point when they change. So you can uh, print this infographic or you can bring it up on your screen and um, just quickly follow along as I explain how to approach this. So the first thing that you need to um, take note of, and this is vitally important, do not memorize this page. So if you find yourself saying, if this, then that, or if this changes, then that will change, um, then you must stop and start over. So the best would be to take a, a page or a book or something and then cover these two columns. So the middle column and the final column. So the profit, the change in profit column, and the change in break-even units column. And just look at the first column, the change in factor. So the, let's look at the first example and let me explain how to approach this. So this is test to see whether you understand what we've been doing um, and to see whether you understand cost volume profit analysis or how the factors affect the profit. So if in the first case, our selling price per unit increase, what will the effect on our profit be? So if the selling price per unit increases, it means our total sales value will increase as a result. And that means we'll make more profit. So that's an easy one. What will the effect on our break-even point be? So break-even is the number of units required to make zero profit or to break even. So if our selling price per unit increases, it means our contribution per unit will increase because we receive more per unit. So each unit will contribute more towards covering our fixed costs. So we'll require less of those units. So our break-even will come down. So you can work through this page on your own, read through the explanations um, next to each, uh, next to the, uh, underneath the profit and the break even changes. But uh, remember, do not memorize any of this. You have to think through it. So make sure that you only look at the change in factor column and then see if you can come up with the answer in the middle and the right hand column. And don't cheat yourself. Be completely honest with yourself. If you make one mistake, it means um, you, you either didn't think, uh, think it through carefully enough or there's some understanding that's still lacking. And don't stress. Just go back to the video or go back to that lecture um, and make sure that you understand how the different factors that make up profit affect the profit and the break-even point if there's a change in one of those factors. Mm -hmm.